They said that she had died of syphilis, but her corpse revealed the dark truth when the coffin was opened. In 1922, a woman named Molly Mai, who worked in a factory in the United States, died terribly due to a hemorrhage in her jugular vein. A year before she died, her body had started to disintegrate very quickly, and that without a doubt was what attracted the most attention. First, her teeth rotted one by one, and the gums instead of healing began to close up and filled with pus. Her bones were starting to break and weaken. It made her unable to walk anymore until the end came. According to her death certificate, the woman had died of syphilis, but after years, the unthinkable is discovered. Molly was not the only woman with this ailment, and one after another, many women began to die in America. All of them worked in watch factories painting fluorescent numbers. At first, it seemed like a good job, as they were paid three times more than anywhere else. Women felt they could finally afford a better financial life. Young female workers aged 14 and over cleaned brushes tips with their mouths before painting. Of course, each time they did it, they ingested a small amount of the mixture, radium. According to the factory, that wouldn't cause any harm, and the stark truth was that they were slowly being poisoned. Molly was the first victim, but she certainly wasn't the last. Her companions unfortunately followed in her terrible footsteps, although with different symptoms and inconveniences. Their bodies began to disintegrate little by little, forming sores or holes in the skin, destroying their bones, and even growing mutant tumors. It is currently known that any contact with radiation destroys human tissue, but they were ingesting it without attention. The damage was infinitely worse. Nothing could be done anymore. These workers could no longer turn back. After the first death, the girls knew of the horrible fate that awaited them. However, there was still something they could do. But not for them, but all the girls that were starting to work in those factories. So they sued the companies and the legal battles began. The women had to prove the company had lied to them and that the radium was the cause of their ailments. However, factories were spending a lot of money doing false studies that would prove that this was not the reason. They were also neglected in the diversity of symptoms in Molly's death certificate, which stated that syphilis had killed her. Three years after Molly's death, Harry Sumarla Ham irrefutably proved the link between radium and the poisoning suffered by women when they opened some victims' coffins, including Molly's. There were no more doubts. The body still shone with that characteristic glow of the numbers that the women had painted with their own hands when they knew it. They took their fight to the extreme. The media spoke out about it, and although the companies denied everything and falsified autopsies, they could no longer hide the reality. As early as 1938, the factory owners were recognized as guilty as causing several women's deaths. And what were the results of this triumph? The way employees worked was wholly changed since those women managed to prove the truth of their story. All companies, institutions, and factories are obliged to give their workers security. Believe it or not, it is thanks to them that there are many of the benefits that every employee has today and is recognized worldwide. Sadly, these women like Molly were forgotten by their history. However, this video is a brief reminder that everything that exists today could have had a genuinely incredible past. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest uploads.